Welcome back to KLR, the Photo Guru YouTube channel. I am KL Rajapon Singh. In this video, we are going to see something about five advantages of APS-C sensor camera or crop sensor camera. Before I go into the video, I thought I can remind you about subscribing to my channel. If you have not done it earlier, please do it. Press the bell button to get the updates. Crop sensor cameras are relatively very, very small and very, very lightweight. Because the sensor size is small, that actually makes the overall weight and size of the camera very small. You know, when it is going to be small and you know, lightweight, it is easy to carry wherever you go. Could be a very good camera for travel photography. Now, let us first understand what is called a crop sensor camera and what way it is different from a full frame sensor. A full frame sensor cameras are basically cameras which has got the sensor size which is equivalent to the conventional or traditional uh, film size. If you know the 35 mm uh, film roll, if you take one frame, single frame, 36 millimeter is the width and 24 millimeter is the height. If the sensor size is that, then you call that as a full frame sensor which matches with our traditional or conventional film size. If any other sensor which is smaller, you can call that as a crop sensor camera. I am holding a Canon camera here or maybe not can be any camera for the matter, even a mirrorless camera. The sensor size is much smaller than the full frame sensor. A full frame sensor is 36 millimeter width and 24 millimeter height, whereas a crop sensor will be around uh, 24 millimeter the width and 15 or 60 millimeter on the height side. So it's much smaller than the full frame sensor. Because the sensor size is smaller, as I told you, the camera has become very small, lightweight and so on. But it has got some advantages also. Apart from the light weight and also, you know, like the size, there is something very interesting about the uh, lenses what you're going to use on these cameras. These cameras can support relatively cheaper lenses, which could be affordable to most of the beginners or the starters. Basically, you know, these lenses are compatible only with the crop sensor camera. You can call it as EFS lenses. In case it is a, a Canon camera, you call it as EFS series lenses. These lenses are meant to be used only with the crop sensor camera, which cannot be used on the full frame sensor body. Whereas, this camera also take full frame sensor cameras lenses, EF lenses. Those cameras can also be used on the crop sensor cameras. Whatever may be the case, whatever lenses you are using, remember the lens is covering a certain areas. For example, I am using a 50 millimeter lens. 50 millimeter covers a certain area and that is the same when it has been used on the crop sensor camera and also on the full frame sensor camera. But when it is on the crop sensor camera, remember the sensor is not big enough to take the entire coverage of the lens. So the coverage is only from the center. When the coverage is only from the center, the image quality or I can say the optical quality of the image is much better. If you take any lens for the matter, the optical performance of that particular glass or the lens will it be at its best only in the center. When you go to the peripheral sides, there are some problems like perspective distortion or edges become slightly soft or edges become little less contrast, edges will not take enough light as the center. These are all some of the issues which you call it as the optical problems of the lens that is very, very minimal when you take into the crop sensor camera because the image is formed only from the center portion of any lens that you are using onto the camera body. Since the sensor size is smaller than the actual coverage of the lens, it could magnify the subject little more. To understand it better, if I use a 50 millimeter lens on a crop sensor camera, it gives you a coverage equivalent to 75 millimeter lens on a full frame sensor camera. Since the lens covers larger area, but the sensor is smaller, it takes the image only from the center portion, which will be equivalent to that smaller area coverage. So on the telephoto range, when you are shooting with the long lenses, say for example, 100 millimeter lens or 200 millimeter lens, a crop sensor lenses has got a lot of advantage because a 200 millimeter lens will become 300 millimeter in terms of the coverage alone. Remember, in terms of the coverage only. And 100 becomes 150 and 50 becomes 75 and 18 becomes approximately 28. 
So this is the advantage of the crop sensor camera because it always gives you some extra focal length which is useful for anybody who is shooting distant objects like wildlife, birds, sports and so on. So some of the wildlife photographers and sports photographers are using crop sensor cameras, the professional crop sensor cameras for this simple advantage. So you can magnify, you can multiply the focal length of the lens by 1.5x or 1.6x. It's also called as a cropping factor. This gives you a clear cut advantage onto the distant object or onto the long focal length ranges. This is something really amazing. Last but not the least is these cameras or these lenses can shoot much closer distance. The minimum focusing distance is very small and you can go very near to any subject and shoot it. Suppose I am trying to take my hand here. I can bring it as close as this. This gives you something like a macro shot. Okay? The, the magnification is really significant. The same lens which has been used on a full frame sensor camera will not give you such a kind of a magnification because of the sensor size. Remember, when the sensor size becomes smaller, you can go close and focus the lens. That means you will be able to have a better enlargement in the close range. So this lens can also act like a kind of a macro lens. So if I am using you know like 18 to 55 millimeter lens on this camera at 55, I can go near and shoot some of the details, some texture details or some color details or maybe some pattern details. All those things can be very beautifully captured by this lens. So it is something which you can temporarily replace a real macro lens for that matter. So if you look at this particular point, as I told you, the crop sensor cameras can focus much more closer. If you look into the mobile phone cameras, they have a much more smaller sensors. They can focus even much more closer. So you would have probably seen when you use a mobile phone, you will be able to take a clear, very good macro shots with your phones, which is not possible with your full frame sensor cameras unless you have the appropriate macro lenses on them. So these are some of the important advantages you have when you are using a crop sensor camera. And normally when you buy a crop sensor camera to start with, okay, you will be having a, a clear cut idea about you are a starter and you are going to learn photography and you have to go a long way. When you look at uh, people using full frame sensor cameras, uh, some of the crop sensor cameras uses might get kind of an inferiority complex. They might think that, oh, I got only crop sensor camera. So that feeling should not come to you because I told you this is some cutting edge with respect to the crop sensor camera. Remember, every equipment or every camera has got its own limitations. Every lens has got its own limitations. If you are working within that limitations, your results are going to be amazing. When you try to work beyond the limitation, then you start complaining about the cameras, lenses and equipments and so on. So in my opinion actually, please understand the advantage of these lenses, cameras. Understand the limitation of the cameras and the lenses and use it accordingly, then you are able to get some interesting shots. So if you are having a camera like this with the kit lens, please explore the kit lens first. 18 to 55 is a beautiful range, you call it as a general purpose lens. You can shoot people, you can shoot nature or a landscape or buildings or temples, monuments, a group picture, events and so on. So these are most of the subjects we normally shoot for the purpose of photography. So this lens is a beautiful choice. That is why this is coming as a kit lens. Don't try to capture a bird at a longer distance. Don't try to capture a wild animal. You may not be able to show them very close because the maximum focal length here is only 55. So this is what I'm calling as a limitation here. So explore this lens, shoot every other subjects, which, is, which can be comfortably shot with this lens and the camera. Then you see that the pictures are going to be amazing and you enjoy photography. So the information shared by me about the advantages of APS-C sensor cameras or crop sensor cameras will be definitely useful for you. If you find this useful, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel KLR The Photo Guru and press the bell button for the updates and notification. I'll catch up with similar small videos in future. Take care.